This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10. Today's chemistry question of the day is, which of the following atoms has the lowest ionization energy? Ionization energy is defined as the energy required to remove the outermost electron from an atom. So let's look at these. We've got phosphorus, chlorine, nitrogen, and fluorine. Phosphorus, chlorine, nitrogen, and fluorine. So what is the difference among these? First of all, nitrogen and fluorine have their outer electrons in the second energy level, whereas phosphorus and chlorine have their outermost electrons in the third energy level. So already I can tell you this. So let's go back to this. This is phosphorus, nitrogen, and fluorine. So we've got nitrogen here. Nitrogen has seven electrons and fluorine has seven protons and seven electrons and fluorine has nine protons. And their outermost electrons are in the second energy level. Okay, so each of these has two electrons in the first energy level, and this nitrogen would have five electrons in its outermost energy level. Fluorine would also have two electrons in its innermost energy level and seven electrons in its outermost energy level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As compared to phosphorus and chlorine, Phosphorus and chlorine have the same number of valence electrons, but they actually have an intervening energy level. So we've got phosphorus here has three energy levels, and it's got five outermost electrons here. But these outermost electrons are further from the nucleus. And the same thing is true with chlorine here. It, like fluorine, has seven outermost electrons, seven valence electrons, but they're further away. Because they're further away, they are less, they, they, the nucleus can't exert as strong a force. Even though the nucleus has a stronger nuclear force between phosphorus and chlorine because they have more protons. If we go back to the periodic table, we see that phosphorus has 15 protons and chlorine has 17. So the force is proportional to the charge of the nucleus times the charge of electron all over the distance squared. Notice that we have distance squared. So distance, it has a stronger effect on the diminishing force than the charge. So even though it has a greater nuclear charge, the distance between the nucleus and the outermost energy level is greater for phosphorus and chlorine than it is for nitrogen and fluorine. So since they're further away, there's less attractive force between the proton and the outermost electron, so it's going to be easier, require less energy to remove that outermost electron. So we already know that these then, phosphorus and chlorine, have a lower ionization energy. They require less energy to remove the outermost electron than nitrogen and fluorine. So this eliminates nitrogen and fluorine. What, what we have left then is which one is going to have the lowest ionization energy, phosphorus or chlorine. And that is going to we're going to assume they have relatively the same distance, the outermost electrons have relatively the same distance from the nucleus as the um, <clears throat> as each other because they're in the same, they're sa the same energy level, they're in the third energy level, the outermost electrons are in the third energy level from the, from the nucleus, so they're semi-equidistant from the nucleus. So the deciding factor within a period, within a row, is the charge. Okay, so the greater the charge of the nucleus, the greater the attractive force. Chlorine having 17 protons, as opposed to phosphorus's 15 protons, has a greater nuclear force, which means it has a greater force of attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electrons. Since an atom is mostly empty space anyway, this greater nuclear force brings the electrons in closer together. Since that force is greater, it's going to require more energy to remove. Greater force, more energy to overcome that force. So it's actually phosphorus that's gonna have the lowest ionization energy because it doesn't have a str as strong a force of attraction between the nucleus and its outermost electrons as does chlorine. So the correct answer is A, phosphorus. I hope you enjoyed this video. To get more chemistry videos and practice problems, help from our online chemistry community and the chemistry question of the day delivered to your inbox, sign up at chemin10.com. Membership is free and we'd love to have you. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.